All right. Um, I will briefly uh, introduce you to Living Textbook. Some of you know this already. Uh, it's a uh, software developed uh, uh, at ITC. Uh, basically, it's a software tool that uh, helps you to create and share uh, knowledge representations. That's, a, let's say, the general um, uh, explication. So, uh, what you see is uh, it's a, a combination of a wiki here on the left-hand side and a concept map on the right-hand side. And those are connected. So, what we do, the idea behind it is that if we have a uh, field of knowledge, then we uh, cut it down into small pieces. We call them concepts. So, these are represented by these small circles, and each circle has also a text explanation on the left-hand side. So if you click on the circle, you see the text at the left-hand side, which basically serves as a, a wiki text. And on the right-hand side, you can browse through this concept map, you see the relationships, they are connected by arrows, these concepts, and you also see the semantics of the relationships. So we have different possibilities, we can have a sub-concept, so a hierarchy, but there are all uh, other types of relationships possible, like part of is based on, and um, you can um, model it as, as you like. So we use this um, in different ways. Uh, so the tool allows you to create uh, study areas, so pieces of content or content areas, um, and we use that for education. So uh, I will show you in a minute also, we have um, created educational materials uh, based on a, a PDF and then migrated it to this environment where students can then uh, not only do the, long linear, uh, the linear learning that, that they do via book chapters and paragraphs uh, and sections, but they can also do the non-linear way of uh, browsing through the concepts and seeing how the different small concepts are connected to each other through the concept map. Um, another way that we use this tool is also to uh, let experts work together, collaborate on a common, uh, let's say, understanding of their knowledge domain, and also express that via uh, small concepts and the definitions of those concepts and how these concepts are connected. So here you see the example uh, where we actually started with um, creating this tool uh, five years back. Uh, we have uh, this uh, core book uh, where uh, the content is shared with uh, students that uh, come fresh into ITC and learn the basics of Earth observation and GI science. And we have migrated the book content into this environment. So you see the text on the left-hand side. So what we also uh, support is, besides text figures, as you see here, formula, uh, links, hyperlinks to other uh, pieces of information, and always connected to... Uh, the concept map on the right. We can also do, as you see, uh, tagging. So you can provide different colors for different groups uh, of concept. Here you see a uh, editing page uh, where editors, typically teachers or content providers, can then enter information on definitions of concepts, um, let's say some introductory text explanations, uh, external resources, and also information about the um, authors of this uh, particular piece of information. We have also included a review process, so where people can collaborate on particular parts of the text uh, so that uh, a book like this can be uh, created in collaboration where you can also uh, track the uh, status of certain pieces of text and who has to review it and so forth. Um, once the um, tool is used for students, we can also uh, track uh, the usage if students permit you to do so. And then we can see uh, which concept is uh, being clicked on uh, for how much time and where uh, the, the subsequent, uh, let's say, track of concept is. So we see where students actually start uh, where they uh, spend more time, uh, which are the connected concepts and so forth. And you can derive, uh, let's say, some um, learning analytics uh, from this. Uh, and this was also um, done by a project uh, done by Anarim. So the other way of using it um, is to define a knowledge domain. We call this a body of knowledge. And we have used the uh, the Living Textbook tool for a big project called EO for Geo, uh, which was geared to the uh, labor market in Europe 
for the domain of GEO and um, e, uh, so GI and EO, where um, the intention is to connect, for instance, job offers with occupational profiles and curricula, so that we can see uh, as a company, okay, we issue this job offer, uh, which type of people would typically qualify for this job based on certain background knowledge. And this background knowledge is then portrayed, represented by a one or more concepts that are in this particular uh, environment. So here you see um, the whole of uh, around 1,000 concepts which represent the domain of our field here at ITC. So geoinformation technology and Earth observation. So if we would zoom in, uh, then you would see a typical concepts like spectral indices, you see information about uh, sensors, about uh, geodatabase management, spatial data infrastructures, machine learning, all those type of concepts are explained here with uh, short definitions on the left hand side at the top. We also added skills that are particularly needed by people who would actually go for such a job offer uh, and which is also uh, branded in the uh, curricula. Um, and um, also about the uh, external resources where literature, where actually this definition comes from and the contributors to the concept description here. And of course the relationships uh, between the different concepts that are neighboring this uh, particular concept uh, at hand. So these concepts uh, can be exported from the living textbook um, to other applications. One is, uh, you see in the middle, uh, built by another partner in that same project, uh, which is a hierarchical view of the same concept content. So you can then uh, go into more detail uh, in the specific subject areas. And we export it also to other tools where, as I mentioned already earlier, uh, you can match, for instance, job offers with uh, occupational profiles. So here you see an example of such a job offer and the uh, collard bars there are again the same concepts as you saw in the living textbook so the circles are here now these uh, collard bars um, you see here one example of uh, ndvi as a concept and also the skills that are connected to these particular concepts so what companies can do typically is to um, uh, to uh, publish such a job offer and then show also the concepts based on which are now definitions uh, connected uh, to this particular combination of concepts. So that, that is a kind of, let's say, standardized way of communi communicating the content of this job offer. Uh, we can do the same for uh, educational materials and for curriculum design. So where we also say, okay, uh, this particular course, we want uh, students to have these and these learning objectives, and we can also make the concepts part of these learning objectives and we also add uh, Bloom's taxonomy levels where we say okay this concept should be um, uh, learned at this particular level. Now a completely different type of use uh, we also embarked upon is uh, software documentation. So you can see this also as a knowledge representation. So here are all the concepts that uh, have been um, entered into, for instance, in this case, ILWIS documentation. This uh, particular study area, concept area, is done by Martin, uh, who is uh, one of the, the ILWIS uh, developers. And this is then also a way to break down, let's say, a, a bigger chunk of knowledge into smaller pieces so that we can understand also the relationships between these different concepts. And on the left-hand side, you actually see parts of the ILWIS uh, uh, instruction manual uh, and documentation that have been ported into this particular part for a specific concept. So it will give you the possibility to either read a manual as, as you are used to, but also see the direct uh, correlation between, for instance, operations and, uh, for instance, functionality like in this case, point interpolation operations within uh, the ILBA software. Now currently uh, we are working uh, also on a improved visualization because the concept map as we are using uh, is um, yeah, let's say one fit for all and uh, we wanted to also create uh, different possibilities for uh, using different colors uh, within our diagrams concept diagrams 
but also uh, experimenting with what uh, does it help if we, for instance, uh, change the visualization of uh, the relationships, so the arrows make them thicker or thinner, um, putting different types of labels, uh, different colors. Uh, so this is a uh, work in progress. And on this we also um, do testing uh, with uh, users uh, by placing them in our usability lab and uh, do eye tracking and so we give them certain tasks and say, okay, can you with this concept not now solve this particular problem? And then, then we can see at which particular sites they are looking and they also have to think aloud so we can follow uh, how they actually solve the task and try to improve uh, what I said earlier, whether we can maybe create uh, colors uh, or use colors and other visualization elements to improve uh, the concept now. Now for the sake of how we developed this, uh, here you see a list of the different um, framework elements, like we uh, use uh, D3 also as a JavaScript library, and uh, different types of other packages that, uh, and the, the, yeah, the basis is actually this, the Symfony uh, PSP framework uh, that we use for creating the whole application. There's the timing. So we started uh, back in 2016 with the first ideas. Then came uh, this uh, core book development, the one that I showed you in the beginning. Um, and then we uh, asked a external developer to help us uh, developing this uh, and creating the, the actual software in the JavaScript. This is the D3 library and so forth. Uh, this is a spin-off of uh, UT, Trenzo. Uh, so this is a very small company that we are still um, work with uh, to develop the, the software uh, further. Um, and well, in the end, you, well, you see also we had the postdoc uh, visiting us, uh, proving the visualization also from a uh, interaction uh, UIX um, point of view. And we are now in the process of uh, making the source open also to other parties that we can uh, work with. And that you can see is happening at this moment. But uh, we are first trying to do that with uh, partners that we uh, trust and that we know that uh, they can give us uh, good advice. If you want to play with it, uh, the link on top is uh, provides you the direct link, so it takes you to the software immediately. And there are some demo uh, content areas where you can play with. Um, and there's a document, well it's not documentation, but some more information about uh, the living textbook with the, the long link but I guess that we will share the presentations <laughs> also, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. That's it, thank you. Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, are there any questions uh, for Rob? Yes, Rob? Yeah, thank you. I was just wondering whether you think it's possible to use this as an alternative code documentation generator, right? You have uh, Sphinx, read the docs to make a nice website. You put your commands in your in your code. Could you, is there something which would prohibit this in this concept? Yeah, um, it certainly that, that would be possible. I, well, to make clear, it is, is you cannot just do it right now uh, if you would ask us to do so. Uh, but uh, we do have uh, import uh, routines also here. Uh, so if, and we are currently also in uh, cooperation with um, UCGIS, uh, which is uh, the, the US, let's say, uh, sister organization that also for GIS that uh, is trying to use our software here. And then we have to port their data into Living Textbook. So we're, we're doing this uh, via JSON files at the moment, but they of course have to have a specific uh, structure, predefined structure. Um, so it would be possible uh, in principle, but um, needs to be tuned. But if you would like to discuss, then I would be uh, very happy to do so. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Any other questions? I have one quick question. Is there any other similar software available in the market? Because it looks a quite unique uh, software. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there are several softwares uh, that create concept maps and share concept maps. Uh, so that, that right hand side, and there are of course uh, lots of wikis, but uh, to my knowledge there is not a, let's say, typically user friendly tool like this that combines the two. That you can, um, uh, let's say, click on one side and then see uh, the other side uh, being connected. Uh, and also, uh, if you look at the concept maps, uh, almost none of them uh, shows uh, correct information or, or, let's say, useful information that um, creates or, or visualizes the semantics of the relationships between the concepts. Normally, they are just arrows or maybe even lines without a very clear meaning on what is that connection about. And I think that is something that uh, we do very well. And, um, are also try to advertise with uh, so that, that this is a very useful tool for knowledge sharing. Mm -hmm. yeah. What we are not good at yet is this import export where we uh, connect for instance to the semantic web tools uh, with linked data. We are working on this but uh, as at the moment has not the highest priority. Thank you very much. Yeah, open source maybe also help because then you may have also other collaborators yeah. who can who can support. Uh, thank uh, yeah. Is this, uh, is this website static HTML and JavaScript, or is there calls to a database? Or should I post this website on, for example, Wikipedia? Uh, no, it, it's connected. To, you see the, the MariaDB. Uh, so, the, well, if, if you want to uh, install it yourself, it's, it's possible, but it's not uh, static as such, no. Again, Rob, uh, for your presentation.